a second to explain the role of a deacon. The deacon is a bridge between the church and the, and the community. We work among the public, bringing the message and blessings from the church. Then, in turn, we take the cares and the, con and the concerns from the people back to the church. This allows the priest and the parish to allocate resources, time, and prayer for the poor, the homeless, the sick, and the troubled at heart. We proclaim the gospel, lead the prayers of the people, set the table for communion, assist the priest in administering the sacrament, and giving the dismissal at the end of the service. I also take out the garbage, make coffee, and wash dishes, the other table I serve. If time allows, I can continue to explain that we, that we are agents of the bishop who assigns us to parishes in need or who desire deacon. We can hear confessions but cannot give absolution, nor can we consecrate elements during the communion service. I can go on to say that a deacon must be of good character, not afraid or reluctant to say, I don't know, I'll find out. I'm sorry, I loved you. I have faith, or my own favor will make it happen. I have, counseled, I have countless number of diaconal or wows that have happened over the past 18 years. In recent years, of significant note was my first cochlear implant, August 11, 2020, what I call my pandemic miracle. The, rest, the restoration of hearing was nothing short of miraculous. EFM and PD Jinx were again a great support as I was taking EFM a second time. And they were there also for my second implant, December 6th of 2022. I refer to this as one of my Christmas presents. The blessing of restored hearing was greatly boosted my confidence with the strength and courage to face and conquer life's daily challenges. like losing your place here, which we sometimes do, but just bear with me, there we go. As I'm about to say, the path I am on today was not at all what I had planned for my future, but it is the right path where I belong. When I start to get weighed down by circumstances, I reflect back on the sacrifices my, made to, my dad made to ensure my freedom and safety. I reflect on the many rewards and memorable experiences we had as a family. I'm able to walk the bridge between the church and the community, continuing to minister to, to those in need. I feel of an, immen an immense sense of gratitude that I found my place where I can care, care for and heal with those in recovery through AA, advocate for the homeless, and those with mental health challenges and food shortage. With God, all things are possible. My meditation for the day. You cannot see the future. It's a blessing that you cannot. You cannot know all of the future. That is why God only reveals to you day by day. The first step each day is to lay your will before God as an offering, ready, for God to do what is best for you. Be sure that if you trust God, what he does for you will be for the best. The second step is to be confident that God is powerful enough to do anything he wills, and that no miracle in human lives is impossible with him. Then leave the future to God. The prayer for the day. I pray that I will gladly leave my future in God's hands. I pray that I may be confident that good things will happen as long as I am on the right path. Amen.